Question 5. Which expression is a factor of 30x squared minus 4x minus 16? So the key word here is factor. So let's go ahead and factor this trinomial. I went ahead and copied it on a piece of paper. Let's go ahead and begin. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at all of these numbers and ask, is there a factor that they have in common? Is there a number that they have in common that I can divide all of them by? And the answer is yes, I can divide all of them by two. They're all even numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and take out a two and open my parentheses. So two times what number is 30? Two times 15 is 30. And then copy the x squared. Two times what number is negative four? Two times negative two is negative four. Copy the x. Two times what number is negative 16? Two times negative eight is negative 16. So there we go, we already factored a little bit there. Now we're going to go ahead and factor this part here in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy that down right now. 15x squared minus 2x minus 8. And don't forget about this 2. Let me put a little star here so, so we return to that 2 in a little bit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do ABC. A is the number with the letter squared. So A is 15. B is the number with just the letter, no exponent. That would be negative 2 because it has one x there. C does not have a letter, does not have a variable. That would be negative 8. All right, so there are our numbers. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do A times C. A times C. A is 15 times C is, let's ignore the sign for now, 8. Let's go ahead and put that in the calculator, 15 times 8. That's 120. And now we need to find the factors of 120. Okay, start with 1. So 1 times what number is 120? 1 times 120 is 120. After 1 is 2. 2 times what number is 120? 2 times 60 is 120. After 2 is 3. 3 times what number is 120? So let me show you. If you don't know 3 times what number is 120, you can do 120 divided by 3. Enter. It's 40. 3 times 40 is 120. Okay, next is 4. 4 times what number is 120? 4 times 30. Okay, five times what number is 120? Okay, if, remember, if you don't know, you're gonna stick it in the calculator. 120 divided by four, sorry, by five, 24. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish them off. So six times 20, seven does not work. So let me show you, if you do 120 divided by seven, it's a fraction, you do not write that one down. Okay, eight times 15, and then 10 times 12. Those are my factors of 120. So now I'm going to look at the B. B is negative 2, okay? Which pair, if I add or subtract, will give me negative 2? Now, if you're not good with negatives, what you can do is which numbers can I subtract to get 2? Well, to get 2, the only pair that will give me 2 is 10 and 12, right? I could do 12 minus 10 to get 2. Or to get negative 2, you would need positive 10 and negative 12. So 10 minus 12, let me show you, 10 minus 12 is negative 2. So that's my pair that I'm going to use. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this again, but we're going to change the B. We're not going to put negative 2. Instead of negative 2, we're going to put positive 10 and negative 12 in its place because that's the same thing, right? 10 minus 12 is negative 2. So I'm going to write... 15x squared, no negative 2. I'm going to put plus 10 with the x, because that had an x, minus 12 with the x. This is my negative 2. And then copy minus 8. So now what we're going to do is we're going to separate them into pairs. Okay, the first two together and the second two together. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and factor each one, one by one. All right, so I'm going to do 15 
and 10, I'm gonna make a factor tree. Okay, so two numbers that I can multiply to get 15, three times five. Three is a prime number, five is also a prime number. Prime means that I cannot divide them by any other number besides one and itself. So the factors of 15 x squared are three times five times, there's two x's because this is squared, x times x. Okay, let's factor 10, two numbers I can multiply to get 10, two times five. Two is prime, five is prime. So to get 10 x, it would be two times five times x. All right, let's go ahead and factor them. Open your parentheses. Okay, so what they have in common is gonna be your GCF, what the greatest common factor, what they have the same. Let's see what they have the same. They both have one X, they both have one five. So my GCF is five X. So the same, you're gonna go ahead and put it outside. What is different, you're gonna put on the inside. This is three X. Look back up here for the sign, this was positive. And for the 10, it's two, that's different. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, so just ignore the sign for now, 12 and eight. Let's go ahead and do the factors of 12. So for 12, you, I can do two times six. Two is prime. Six is not prime because I can still multiply. I can do two times three. Okay, so my list for 12x is gonna be two times two times three times x. Let's go ahead and do eight. Eight is two times four. Two is prime. Four is not prime because I can do two times two and two is prime. So my list for eight is two times two times two. All right, let's do our GCF, what they have in common. So they have one, two, two twos, and that's it. They have two twos in common. You're gonna do two times two, two times two is four. Open your parenthesis. If this one right here, this third one, one, two, three, if this third one is negative, you put that negative outside. Put the negative outside. Now, because I put that negative outside, both places here are gonna be the opposite. So this is not gonna be negative, this will be positive. This one is negative, this will be positive. They're the opposite now because I took the negative outside, okay? So what they have in common, the GCF is four. It's negative four now because we put that negative outside. What they have different, we're gonna put here. So three X, remember this is gonna be positive because we took the negative outside, it's the opposite. And then this one is two, it's gonna be positive because we took the negative outside. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put them together. Do you see how these are the same? This is perfect. Put what is the same in the first one. Put what is different in the second one. And then don't forget, here originally we had a two outside, right? Outside of that. So we're gonna stick that two out in the front as well. These are my factors. So I factored it. So let's go ahead and take a look here because they said, which expression is a factor? So let's take a look here. Here are my options. Okay, do I have a 5x plus four? I do not. I have a 5x minus four, not a plus four. So this is not correct. Do I have a 3x minus two? No, this is a plus two. That's not correct. 5x minus four. So this looks like my answer. 3x minus 4? No, that doesn't look right. So this would be my answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, Factoring by Grouping, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you do it in a different way. Is there an easier way that you prefer? Please write it in the comments. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.